Hey there, welcome to another analysis, I guess, of a set on my list. This is Boba Fett's Starship. No, it's not. It's the Slave One. It's always going to be called that. That's how it was called in 1983, and it's not going to get any... Or 1980, and it's not going to change. Call it the Slave One, people. That's what it is. <laughs> And it's kind of dumb that Disney changed the name, but, you know, they made some dumb decisions before, so... It's not... It's not the first time that there's been controversy, but we could just ignore that. Uh, this is 75312, that's 593 parts, and it's 50 bucks. Now, that's a good price. Now, if only the 20th anniversary Slave 1 was 50 bucks. Now, that would be amazing. Um... Yeah, this is the newest version of the Slave One, um, and it's not the smallest, but it's one of the smallest. Now, you might be wondering, why is this on my list? I already have a Slave One. You are correct, random subscriber. I do have the Slave One already. However, I've been wanting to do a comparison with another version, and this is the newest one. Um, I really like this. It's not perfect. It does have flaws, which we'll get to, but it's still really nice. Um, it's compact, it's dense, and it looks good. Is it better than the 2019 one? No, not even close. But is it good for what it is? Yes, and especially good for people who have a budget, you know. It's not so expensive like the <laughs> Grievous Starfighter. <laughs> Uh, that thing is so overpriced. Oh my word. Then so many videos on that, you already know. Um, yeah, this is another starship. And it's obviously the Fire Spray 31 class patrol and attack craft. Or the Slave 1. As Django Fett named it when he stole it from Uvo 4, the prison world. And the Slave 1 is the last of her kind. So if she looks really old, it's because she is. She's been around for literally decades at this point. <laughs> Ever since Phantom Menace days? So, yeah, old. Slave 1 is old. Yeah, that's why she looks all beat up and, you know, just janky as heck. It's because she is. And yeah, um, this is a great set. This is a Mandalorian Season 2 set. And it's awesome. Um, at first, I was a little disappointed when I first saw the images. But then, I looked at the price. And then, that kind of um, explained it. 50 bucks. You're not going to be getting the massive, like, 20th anniversary slave one. That's pretty massive. You're not going to be getting that. You're not going to be getting the 2010 slave one, either. That is also pretty big. And that was like $80. It's like, mm, it's hard to get a grasp on how big this is in a picture. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to look. I guess it would be slightly bigger than a Desert Skiff build. So if you have a Desert Skiff kind of Lego set, like any of those, it's bigger and rounder than that. So it's, it's wider and it's much more dense. It's just a little bit bigger than that. So picture that, but that's what this is. So yeah. Um, this is cool. I really like it. I wanted to talk about the minifigures though, because they are the biggest <laughs> selling points. Uh, this is Boba Fett. We get him again, but this time he is way different. This is the Boba Fett from The Mandalorian season two. So that's why he looks all different. He's got the new armor, new, pretty much new everything. Um, and he even has a new face, which that is awesome. And yeah, it's based on him, his armor from season two. It's um, chapter six, was it 16? No, chapter 14, the tragedy. I'm pretty sure that's the, that's the, um, the number of it. I could definitely be wrong. It's been a while since I watched it, but yeah. It's a little bit of, it's like old man boba. So like, um, yeah. I wish I could show you the face. I don't have a picture of that at this point. 
Actually, you know what? Why don't we just, you know what? We're just going to go and look up Boba Fett. Mando. We can see the face of him. Hold on. His face is worth looking at. The new, the new prints that they did for him. If it'll even show up. Um, let's see. The new head, I should say. Because they made a brand new head design for him when he takes his helmet off. Because in the, the Mandalorian and in the Book of Boba Fett. And yeah, he takes his helmet off a lot. So you kind of want that. Um, I don't know why it's not working. Hold on. Okay, let's see. I don't know if it's going to show up necessarily. Hopefully, it's supposed to look like Tomorrow Morrison, okay? I, apparently, I can't find it, so that's disappointing. But you'll see it when you get the set. And when I get it, I will show you what the face looks like under the helmet. So it's not just some stupid angry clone face that we're all so sick of at this point. We're so sick of it. Oh my gosh, it's so dumb. So they finally got rid of that horrendous face. Um... Yeah, this figure is fantastic. I really want this Boba Fett so I can compare it against the older versions from Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. I have both of those. So, yes, I am definitely planning to get this. The Boba Fett is a big reason why. And because I would like to compare the Slave Ones, the two most recent ones. And, yeah, we get the Mandalorian, which is not new i guess he's newer he has the spear no gun that's fine he's got the cape and no head which is okay i would have preferred if they had a you know a head for him under that like a face but it's not that big of a deal mandalorian pretty cool i have like two of them i'm gonna get a lot of them at this point as this falls sorry about that my apologies and yeah um this figure is great um Pretty cool. I like the fact that he still has the cape. That's... Yeah, I really like the cape. Um, let's see. The Slave one is pretty much the same as the 20th anniversary. Um, it does kind of the same things. Like, the guns move, the cockpit... Well, oh, well, on the, the bigger one, the cockpit, you have to take off the piece. But with this one, you can actually lift it open, and you can put Boba Fett in there. It's very cramped. It's way cramped but at least he can fit in there um so it's okay it's definitely very um it's a very tight fit so it's not that great but it's still cool um it does it actually does come with something else i'll show that in a minute the wings will rotate of course um it's got a carrying handle just like the other version um, it's basically just a small 20th anniversary. It's just like, imagine that, but smaller. It's, that's essentially what this is. It's basically a play-friendly version of the Slave One. Um, you got stud shooters. And yeah, um, on the back of the box, you get a little bit of a clear image. Um, it does come with a speeder. I think that's called, I think that's what it is. Uh... Yeah, this thing. Basically, this will hover the slave one. It'll make it in um, flight mode. So when it's in vertical position, it's okay. Um, I don't really know why they included this. It's kind of cool, but like it's kind of a waste of pieces. <laughs> like I don't know. It's it's just okay. One thing I really love is the fact that we get the carbonite block again. Uh, it's like the Razor Crest set where it's the same design, except it's a different character now. And it's a Gamoran guard. So that's cool. Um, nice nod to the Razor Crest and to Carbonite in general. So that's cool. So Boba Fett is carrying the Gamoran guard somewhere. We don't really know where he's taking it to, but yeah. Also, one last feature is you can open up the cargo hold and put that in there. And yeah, that's that's it for the set. I do have some issues with this. Um, this I don't like. This cockpit. Look at the gap. Ew, that looks cringe. Why is it so open? 
Like, that looks bad. But, eh. Oh, well. Um, I also don't like the fact that Boba Fett is so incredibly cramped in here. Like, look how cramped he is. Oh, my word. Like, jeez. He can't even look out the window. Like, that's sad. So, yeah, he's very cramped. He, he, you can't move him. He can't move in there. He just had to sit there. Very motionless. Um, yeah, it's very cramped. I don't like that. But I understand it. It's kind of... It, it makes sense. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I don't like? Um, these are just nitpicks, by the way. Uh, the stud shooters are kind of obnoxious. I, I don't know. Those are kind of eyesores. Uh, let's see. Um, I think that's it, honestly. The gap in the cockpit, the stud shooters, and, um, yeah, the crampness of the cockpit. Um, stickers are nice. Um, yeah. Uh, am I gonna get this? Absolutely. I don't remember what spot on the list this is. It's kind of lower, but it's still a big, like, want for me. Um, it'll be cool to have two slave ones, even though it's not necessary, but I just think it'll be really cool. Um, I really like this. Um, also the guns, I've, saw, I've seen in reviews that those, like, pop out, or the pieces pop off easily, so that's kind of lame, but, eh, I really like this. Um, I know some people don't like it. Well, I think it looks cool. I, I really like the detail. I think it looks not very nice, despite the flaws. Also, the cockpit shaping is open on the, on this right here. It's like, oh, I don't know, the, the shaping doesn't cover all of the space, like the the other one so it's it's basically think about this slave one being the 1999 version the very first slave one that came out um it's basically that but better just way better um yeah i, I think it could have come with one more figure like maybe fennec shan maybe a stormtrooper um other than that it's it's great like, I don't have too much issues with it. Um, yeah, am I getting it? Yeah, probably later down the line. I don't need it right, right now. I'm just trying to get as many of the other sets as I can. I'm trying to get all of the smaller sets on the list and then slowly getting the bigger ones. So, yeah, this is great. 50 bucks, good. Not overpriced. It's good. So, yeah, pretty much what I said about it last time. Um... Yeah, I did another video on this. I think I did maybe two? This might be the second one, but... Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. More analysis coming. I love making these. And yeah, um, you'll see this at, at some point So on the channel. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great day.